Welcome to the third episode of the Boxed In Podcast. My name is Gary McCosker. And I'm uh, Trevor Sombrano. And today we have our guest. Sean Estrada. What's Sean going on? Estrada. Sean, um, I don't know if you knew this, but uh, I actually followed you to uh, train at Eddie Heredia at the Boxing Gym. Yeah, I remember back that. In, yeah, back I remember in the day, I was... I was this, little, for, this old Gavacho little white kid coming yeah, in our gym. Yeah. And I was like, oh man, who's this kid? And it was, well, basically, I was just looking for the best gym. You know, my gym here in San Pedro had closed down and um, I did my research, you know, at the time and I wanted to know where the best fighters from LA was. And all I knew was that the guy who, who just qualified for the, uh, the Beijing Olympics, yeah, uh, US national team, was yeah. from this gym in East LA. So I was like, all right, this is where I'm going to go. Yeah, a lot. After, my, after high school, you know, in downtown, I would make my way over there and and then you had a you had a lot, of, a lot of other fighters too. You had uh, Aaron Martinez was there. Yeah. And you had uh, what else is uh, Camarón was Camarón, there at that time. Yeah. Yeah. Camarón was there, and the and the Santa Cruz used to train there two years before you got there. Oh, that was before so my they, time. They yeah. checked out before that, but yeah, a lot of guys. You had a lot of fighters coming through that gym. We had Pasillas. Uh, Vic Pasillas at that time too. Yeah, yeah. Victor, 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 he's yeah. still he's still do, he's still. Vic Pasillas is in North, Northern California. I know he has a he's fight a coming up in Sac- uh, San Francisco. Uh, yeah, San Francisco. Yeah, yeah he, he has, has a fight, fight coming he up. He just won yeah. one. Like, he resigned ago, right? with somebody, a promoter out of Texas, is from what uh, from what I understand. And uh, yeah, that's good for Vic, man. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a good fighter. He's a talented he's, guy, man. He's yeah, always really been a talented guy. It's amazing how many people came from that gym and how many people passed through that gym. A lot um, of fighters. But actually, what, one thing I don't know about you, where where did you get your start and what was your first gym, your first story? I know you have fighters in your family yeah. background. Tell us a little bit about who got you into boxing um, and how it came to be. Um, it came to be just, um, I come from a fighting background. So my uncle was a fighter, Adon Estrada. He signed with Don King back in, in the late, uh, the early 80s. And so my dad was his trainer. My dad used to fight back in the day. And it was just, it was just like... Um, there's just something following that you footsteps. Well, was your, yeah, yeah. It was just like was, we we're always in the gym. We started family, training. Yeah. The whole family thing. My brothers were in, in boxing. My cousins and is stuff it, like is that. Ever, is all the Estradas uh, big like you? Like, um, yeah, <laughs> bigger, bro. Yeah, 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 bigger. Yeah, bigger. <laughs> yeah, bigger. <laughs> Gary knows all the yeah, family. Yeah, we're, we're, family. We're, we're, we're big guys. We're, oh, yeah. we're, we're not. We're not. We're not tall yeah. guys. We're not gonna get in the taco line and order one taco. We, we were talking about you making 165 <laughs> today, and we were like, you, "You're the biggest 165er that we have." I, 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 I was, I was, yeah. When yeah. I was 160, um, you didn't want to drop my bracket. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was, a, I was a big guy. Yeah, you're a big dude. Yeah, yeah I was, yeah. yeah, I was, I was there to fight. So I mean, yeah, I mean, all my, all my family was all fighters, and you know, I mean, it just started from there. What was that uh, experience of, of the Olympics like? I was, it, I, I, to be honest, um, I was, as a, as a, as a pro game, it was a little bit slower, a little bit more calm. You know what you're doing with your focus for each fight, but in, in the, in, in the Olympic games or an uh, amateur, when you're in the, in, in that elite level, right? You had to fight four times in, in one week, and you had to fight every other weekend. It was pretty tough. I think it was one of the toughest, by far, toughest comp, like. I ever experienced my whole life, so I was so all your, those Olympians. Level, yeah. Yeah. I give it up. I, to I you was on, I was on your Instagram. I saw that you had a, a photo of Kobe. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 it, it was it was funny. It was a funny thing that I took a. I, I'm, I haven't put this photo up. I had a with, with Kobe um, when I was I I, I tore it, I, my hamstring and then Kobe was in there. He that guy's a workaholic. Yeah. And when I was on the treadmill and I was doing some therapy work, he was always in there. But the funny story when I was. Um, um, for the ha- for the same thing for the hamstring, I was riding on this this van this little uh, this little van to to um, the other practices. I couldn't practice with the regulars. I, I, I my hamstring or something like that. I messed up my my leg. I was in the van for three weeks with Michael Phelps. Didn't even know that who, that, that was Michael Phelps. <laughs> oh, wow. and, and my and my daughter's mom was like, take a picture of Michael Phelps. Like Michael Phelps is there. Ooh. You should. My, yeah, and I was like, who? And, and she sends me a picture. I, remember, I was in the van at the time. She sends me a picture of him. I was like, oh, look, look at it again. You're Michael Phelps? He goes, <laughs> he goes yeah, he had a mustache. I was like, yeah, I'm Michael Phelps. Well, and I was just like, what yeah, the well, fuck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 2008 Beijing, that was his big Olympics, that wasn't was it? Huge, that was his, yeah, yeah. Was that his eight, big, medal, eight gold medal one? He, yeah, he, he, he made a big breakthrough. That was yeah. his, like his recognition. I mean, he, he did something before the prior. He's, he's been, what, He was a, He was in yeah, Athens, yeah. This, yeah. This he, was a kid, he was a kid yeah. in Athens. Yeah, so yeah. he was, and, then, and that one I think he had was, two, and then he had eight or but nine. But that 2008, he made his run. He made his mark, and, you know, Michael Phelps, you know. So we've all heard the rumors about the Olympics thing. 
thing. Is is it, you want to speak on that? What, what, what the, the, the village the, being the a party. Yeah, the is, village being a party. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's fun, man. It, you know, it's I, I, when you first go there. It's everybody has this like game face. Like, mm -hmm. don't fuck with me. I'm here to do my business. And and I, when you first get there, for the first two weeks after like competition. Like three weeks after, when everybody's you know got the results in, after they're done with their Olympic game, it was like a it was a festival. But you, you gotta be jealous, man. jealous of those, those guys <laughs> who have the um, who have like a maybe like a two day event, and it's early on in the in the in the program, oh, so they're, they're done after like day three of the Olympics, and they have the rest of the time to enjoy yeah. like peak. Yeah, you know, there's, there's peak time some some, some guys. Um, th that's the thing about being an athlete, being focused because. Um, some like some stuff like that and the events I fought in the Muhammad Muhammad Cup. I've been all over around the country. And so once your fight's done, and no, once once the other guy's fight's done, their their, their focus is it's out the window. Yeah, and you still have to maintain. Yeah, you gotta keep that, focus. that focus. Stay on weight. Stay on weight. The, yeah. the weight kills you. I mean, shit. Yeah. I had trouble and back in my day with my weight and. Yeah. And and that's all just all that the process. There, there was that's a, the hardest part for yeah. you know, amateur boxing. <laughs> yes, it, it, it's every day. Every day, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, weight because yeah. it doesn't matter. You, got, you fight um, every, if you win one day, you got to fight the next day, and the weigh-ins are at twelve o'clock. Yeah. So you're done. Um, the the fight the the, the, the how the, sure you make how the amateur boxing yeah. is is uh, either you fight early morning at right. right like two hours three hours. After you're weighing, or, 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 or you fight at you're night because you're, you're weighing. Yeah, and about, then you, once yeah. you once you're drinking water, trying to dehydrate, yeah. you gotta get out the ring and start lose all fifteen, again. start all over again, yeah. fifteen, ten pounds, whatever it is, yeah. you're dehydrated again. So and uh, in China, uh, were there? Uh, I guess you just went to went to facilities to go do to go do your post fight runs and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, we had everything. It wasn't, had, like, it wasn't we, like the <clears throat> national no. tournament here where you got to No, no, you had all the <laughs> strength, you had all the best strength um, strength coaches. Um, um, yeah, you had all the best of the best. I mean, I mean, they knew what they were talking about. I mean, if you had any injuries, you had the the doc on, on, on site. So, you had the best of the best. It was fun, man. It was, I, I, uh, that was a good experience. Yeah, the only that. reason I bring up the question about the party is I think Sports Illustrated did an article I mean, was, the, all the condoms that, 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 that they were going through in the village and that it was a I mean orgy what you done and, you know, to, to have was an a big it, it, hey, it, like, it was a I'm gonna tell you this uh, it was a huge it was an adjustment for him to start using them you know yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, was, it was a big thing you know, I, mean, that. <laughs> uh, I mean that was a I, I remember going to a party and and uh and like, how did I get back home? Right, <laughs> it was right, like right. some stuff like that. But it was yeah. fun. I had a good experience. Uh, everybody, all the other countries, like just it was, it was, it was just unreal. Like you know, you see all these different countries, right? And you having uh, everybody come together, and just like it didn't matter if you didn't speak, you just one language, just like, and you had yeah. a beer. Right. <laughs> it, was, it was like cheers or something like that, or proste or something like that, or salut. Everybody knew the same slango, but it was fun though. I want to tell you, I want to change it for the world. Yeah, it's an amazing experience. Yeah, I mean, man. a lot of people, uh, there's a lot of fighters that, that, you know, are great fighters and never get the, the opportunity. There's, it's, it's it's hard to make the Olympics then. Very hard. That's why I have a Then to be a world champion today. I mean, oh, think shit. about how many belts are. Hard. Just hard. statistically speaking. That's why some of the, some of the guys, <laughs> like uh, Andre, Andre, Andre Wurtz, um made, a, made a, uh, a long time ago, made a comment. He said, some of these world champions escape the Olympics. They, they, they because it was too hard. So yeah, they, they yeah, become, yeah. You become a real champion, but it's still a big thing. But that amateur background. Oh, was it a lot. Gary Russell in 08? Or? Gary Russell, you have Demetrius Andrade. Yeah, you, got, right. you have... Uh, Carl Dargan uh, is in 08? Carl, Carl was uh, alternate. Okay. You have uh, One of the Javier, Molinas, right? Javier yeah. Molina. Then you had uh, Deontay Wilder. The heavyweight champ. Oh, so, yeah, that's so, right. so that's right. And then he had, team is he had yeah, limited, yeah. limited experience too, right? Oh man, we we yeah. lived on. <laughs> I think it was it was the first. I, I the, yeah. they did this the only time the first experience they they had us living there for a year almost okay. two a year and a half. Oh wow! So they had us Colorado Springs. There. Colorado yeah. Springs. So I was uh, I was have yours. Uh, we had a, our own rooms, but there was a time where we had to like split the share rooms. So I got to, I had to split share rooms with Deontay and Javier. Okay. And so that was a question. Deontay could cook. Oh, yeah. I was oh, Deontay could cook. He could yeah. cook. Well, yeah. man, we went, we were in Argentina and Buenos Aires, and uh, 
He he did a cookout. He he went to go buy some meat. Yeah. I, he, well, he's from he, the south, so he, it makes oh, sense. He can cook, yeah, man. He, he can do a throw good barbecue. Right, good barbecue. He threw it down and yeah. and uh, he showed them Argentinas how yeah, to yeah, how yeah. to do American <laughs> South barbecue, <laughs> man. It was, there it was we pretty go. good. Oh yeah. yeah, it was good. You surprised to see? That, I mean, obviously Deontay being who he is today. I mean, yeah. Incredible. You know what, um, Deontay, man, it's just it's unreal. Like seeing him, I said every day day basis seeing him eating with him. Uh, waking up and smelling, you know, breath and stinky breath. Waking up in the morning, <laughs> all that stuff, you know. Seeing, seeing his uh, up and down because when he lost up and and then when he won, won the bronze medal, I mean, he shocked us all. He was we was the least experienced guy going into the 08 games. Yeah. The least one. Was he it just, under twenty three? Under twenty three amateur? Tw- under twenty three, something? something like that. Something and he only crazy, had a year right? and a half experience. Yeah, but he had that, that, he had that equalizer. Just, dude, yeah. He, yeah. God gave him. It was like yeah. God gave, bless him with that that that, yeah. that thunder. Athlete, yeah, that thunder and that athletic yeah. ability. So I, I often say when people talk about Deontay Wilder, I, I kind of talk uh, like like he's Usain Bolt. Which is like uh, Deontay's another was born to be Usain was born to be the fastest man on the planet. You know what? You know what? uh, One part on Deontay, I I got uh, dudes when he's uh, when he's ready to fight, Mm -hmm. this dude's so focused. Yeah, this guy's focused on on his opponent, and and he's just. When when you when we're when we're all messing around, we're all like eating dinner and stuff like that. He's just by himself, wants to be alone. In his dinner because he has he has he has a mindset and so he carried it on till right now. Yeah. Look at him now. What did you think about the fight champ- with uh, him and Tyson Fury? Man, I you know be honest to be honest, I thought uh, shit. I I didn't think Tyson Fury was gonna be um, that. Man, he was he moved pretty good. I didn't think he yeah. was a move. I, I thought Deontay was gonna knock him out. I didn't yeah. think it was gonna go past the sixth round. But man, Tyson Fury, man, he showed us something else. It was a good yeah. fight. I mean, I think I thought he outboxed Deontay. Yeah. And, but um. I guess it, it could have went both ways. I seen it. I seen the fight Deontay win in it, but I mean, it could have went both ways. Also, it could have been a draw as well. Yeah, I, I had I had Tyson uh, winning the fight. I, I thought he won. I, the early to rounds. Be, to be honest with yeah. you, about everybody asked my opinion about the rematch. I expect the uh, sort of Bermain Stavern thing to go on. Yeah, I think Deontay doesn't go in and respects him next time that he fights him, yeah. and he because every time Deontay wasn't respecting him and sort of. You know, decided that he was going to try to dog him out. He was having success. I think Deontay goes back in there, it, it, has that, that, that mindset. second fight, if it so, does happen, or is it going to happen? I don't, you know, there's there, rumors. Joshua or something like that. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, if chance. it does happen, I, man, I just, I just, it, I think uh, Tyson Ferry knows, like, yeah. I, he knows he can move. I think yeah. that's what he's going to use it on. I think he was getting a little bit ballsy yeah. at the end, and he got caught. And if he goes to the second round, he's going to just, you know, Try to do the the, the boring clips, but, but something back yeah. in the back of his head is gonna say, "This man put me on the canvas." Yeah, that yeah. too. That so. can that can haunt him too. But yeah. man, he's looking good. He lost. Yeah. He was like what? He was overweight. Like he lost a hundred and pounds. Yeah, and incredible. Yeah. And, 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 and I've still seen videos every once in a while. He's, he's, on, and he's on getting Twitter more and yeah. more in shape. He's still training, yeah. That, yeah. so it's encouraging to see him still like and he's he's ready. Like, he, he too. If anything, that we walk, we both walk away with knowing Deontay, and knowing Tyson Fury's character. They're great guys. Great man, man. Great for boxing. Yeah, because he was on a verge of. Suicide. He was saying yeah, he was yeah. suicidal. It was uh, yeah. drunk, and he was uh, doing a lot of drugs and stuff like that. Yeah. So from from coming from that to he where he's at now, it's incredible. Yeah. And from Deontay, you know, he's, his daughter's uh, uh, she she has an illness, yeah. and he has a lot to deal with, and 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 him to focus on that fight, and and. I was the, both of them. They put a good show. I, I felt they, like good characters. Yeah, I felt like at the yeah. end we yeah. both got we both got to meet Seeing these the men both roles. And it was as, awesome. as fighters yeah. outside as outside as just being fighters, but outside as being guys that are good for boxing. And you know, that's time is Joshua to do yeah. something, man. I was like, what? The, what well, the, like, you know, I guess to come yeah. in and uh, I, I want to see if like Tyson Fury. Uh, the next fight with Joshua has to be between those two. Yeah, I would like to see that. It'd be an incredible fight. Oh, so my God, it'll be. Uh, you that, know, the thing would... about a guy like Anthony Joshua is we know that he's dedicated to his craft. We know yeah. that he's out there, that he's disciplined, that he's working, that he takes himself serious. But um, we also want to see him against someone like Tyson Fury and, and obviously Deontay Wilder, too. So, um, yeah. you know, obviously that fight from Klitschko, that was like something out of a movie. Um, I don't so, know how he got up. I don't know how he got up. I, no. he, had a, he had a yeah. an angel saying... Yeah. He's you know, a, he's Tyson a, he's a, he's a, he's a, yeah. that was uh, no. I'm, I'm talking about when, I, when Anthony when Joshua he, got dropped by. Costco. Oh yeah, that, that that's too. another one. That, that, no, they, them them two. I mean, yeah, yeah. both of them. They. Yeah. I don't know how yeah. Klitschko got up. Yeah. I don't know how Anthony got up. Yeah. I don't know how none of these guys got up. They have like a. a they have, I mean, they have especially that, by both wits. those men, by Klitschko and Deon, and Wilder, putting yeah, you down was, like that. And historically, 
when those shots landed on other fighters with that. I just, I just yeah. like, well, I was zooming off on just like, God, Tyson Fury just got up from that shit. Yeah, yeah. How Have the, you ever been knocked down? I've never been knocked down. I'm just yeah. shaking my head on that. Knock on someone. Knock on someone. I'm knocking my head, man. Not even as a for, uh, Yeah, fortunately, God's been on my side. I mean, thank God I've never been hurt or never been knocked down. But, I mean, I took some pretty good hits. I mean, I, I sparred Deontay one time at the Olympic Training Center. Mm -hmm. And uh, he hit me with a straight right hand. And... I jumped out of the ring. Yeah, I saw the coaches. I saw all the teammates. Yeah, I we went two rounds. I went a round and a half, and I, I thought it was big bad. I was like, I can take his punch. Yeah. Oh man, it's a different. Cause you're a big middleweight. Yeah, I'm a big middleweight, and I was like, I can take this guy's punch. He's not that big, but right. then um, I had to pay. I had to learn the hard way. I was yeah. like, <laughs> hit me one time. I was like, oh, this is uh, kind of. It was like getting hit by a baseball bat, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like, hell no, I'm not. Then I cut out for this heavyweight thing right now. So yeah, yeah, it's got out of the ring, but I mean. I mean, there's another, there's there's some other um, guys that came out of the OA. Who else? Gary Russell. Gary Russell, yeah. yeah. And you have Demetrius Andrade. I would love to see a Gary sure. Russell and Lomachenko part two. Yeah. That, wow. The first fight was good. Yeah. I thought there was, Gary Russell stole a couple rounds, and he's doing good. He beat Jojo Diaz. And did, yeah, jo yeah, with the Jojo at, Diaz fight, it was a great fight. At a yeah. healthy, and Jojo Diaz was at his prime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I That's love right. Jojo Diaz, and he's yeah. a good fighter. He's like, he just beat Charles Huerta. Yeah. yeah. I thought uh, Charles Huerta did uh, good the first four or five rounds. He, I was going, I actually betted on Charles Huerta. Yeah, yeah, I was rooting for Charles. I was rooting for Charles. Yeah. Well, everybody, everybody, everybody wants Charles Huerta. He's like LA, you know. Yeah, he's, he's, so. he's been around the game and yeah. he had a good amateur background. And I also know too that he, he kind of, he came back. He, everything. The yeah. comeback was exciting yeah, because, yeah. to see him. Yeah. He's still back good. Back at Golden Boy. Back at, yeah, yeah. It was, he His did father's it. involved with the gym and, you yeah. know, maybe one of the other yeah, boxing. Yeah. Charles is good. I mean, yeah. he, 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 the first couple rounds, he... He, he also that. helps out everybody. Yeah, he he's spars a, with he's anybody he wants to no, 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 yeah, that's true. Yeah. If anybody's sparring, he'll give anybody advice. I do right. know when Charles Sports is around. Yeah. He, I've seen him at The Rock. It could be anybody. He'll go in there and start giving him tips. So. Yeah, I, I, so. I betted some money on him, but, you know, it was a good bet, though. I mean, rooting for Charles, is, it's it's always a good bet. I, I ran into Charles at, at uh, Legends in Long Beach once. Oh, oh okay. Nor and he actually, Nor Norwalk, right? Legends, Legends in Norwalk, right? No, I meant Legend. Sorry. Oh. Legends the Bar. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Legends yeah. the Bar. That, okay. And I was like, I was like, I was like, Charles, uh, you remember me? You like helped me out one time. You like spar sparred with me like a year ago or whatever. And he was totally cool about it. He's like, yeah, dude, I remember you. You know, like just, you know, yeah. people like that who actually take the time to, to, yeah, he's a such, he's a to be guy. sports to everyone in the community and everyone in the boxing world that kind of yeah, especially, fun to root for those guys, you know? And it was a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it was a good thing for Charles because coming coming off those, uh, a loss to us and he came back, got some couple wins. I wins. thought, he, I thought and he, he, had, he got this big fight. Carlos. Yeah, that was, yeah. A, that was a good fight. But, um, but, I mean, he still has a couple fights in him. Mm -hmm. I'm out. We're gonna, that's not the oh, end. Oh, no, no, definitely. Yeah. He's, he's, he's signed back. He's signed back. He's back with, with Golden Boy, right? With Golden yeah. Boy now. Yeah. So, so he's going to have some fights. a couple of good country. fights, yeah. some moneymaker fights. So he's good. And uh, Gary Russell, so let's, let's see who's, you know, I would love Tank Davis and Gary Russell. How do you think? Yeah, well, I mean, you, it's hard. I don't, you know. The thing about Tank, just being honest, I say that he's got one of the quickest first steps that I've ever seen. Which is if he keeps you in distance, he just closes that gap. And that's Gervonta Davis. Oh, no, 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 Gervonta no, no, Davis. No, 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 I just want to say this. Look. Ryan Garcia, I, I like you. You're fast. And they call you the Flash. Stay away from Tank Davis. Yeah. Stay, stay, <laughs> yeah. Just stay away from that guy. That guy is Absolutely. gonna be your kryptonite, man. Yeah. He's gonna end your career yeah. slowly. Just, just fight. They should else. give. Give. We've been talking about Ryan. They need to give Ryan about two or three years to develop before they give him those sort of looks. Yeah. And that's man. just keeping it's it real. Early. Yeah. So, it's yeah. Early. I mean, I, I, oh, after, the, after the fight, Ryan Garcia was calling him out. Then they're, after, they're, after after this last yeah, fight. Yeah, this last fight they'll have like Twitter oh, feeds man. or something like that. Yeah. yeah. They'll go back and forth. And yeah. uh, that's, oh, a, uh, that's a bad look. I'm like, oh, all right. Here, here, I, you Ryan. think somebody would have a talk with Ryan and just say, you Settle know, down. Be so, humble. So, I mean, yeah. you, you beat all these other guys and yeah. and just, you know. We're talking about a young man, too, versus a versus, Boy, that, versus a man. Yeah. So. Uh, and you know what? On, it, what weight is Gary Russell? 130, 135? Um, I think he's at 130. I think he's at 130 or 130. 130, 130, 130, 130, 130, 130, 130 huh? I, 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 I think he's at, like, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, Gary Russell can go up to... Yeah, I see him doing big things in I don't the think they get, get Gary Russell and Ryan Garcia fight. Are we talking about that? Yeah, I that would be the fight. Yeah, I don't, I don't, Gary give, Russell, Ryan, I don't give Ryan Garcia a chance at all. No, I'm not now. Maybe, no, maybe no. in a couple of years, you know. But I would love to see Tank yeah. and Gary Russell. I don't think that will make it happen because yeah. it'll be a dangerous fight for Tank. Very dangerous fight, yeah. Tank, well, I don't think... Yeah. yeah he, and are either one of them he, big enough names to carry that? Because of how good... 
Right. And how the, the levels are at? Are they going to sell? I, I, are they going to be able to make that a pay per view? No, 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 no not a pay per view. So. But that's a PBC main event for yeah. sure. They're I both. Think, with, they're both with Al Heyman, right? Yeah, Al Heyman. Yeah, Gary yeah. is with Al Heyman. He's underrated, I think, in the in the in that weight yeah. division. But I mean, he's he's. I think he's one of the top guys in that. And, and he's fought Lomachenko. He's fought yeah. who else? He fought just pieced up uh, Jojo Diaz. Yeah, good, good and, he, and, he, and he fought his last fight. Who did he fight? Some. Uh, Puerto Rican kid or some Mexican kid? I, 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 he just he, yeah. he's good. He's really good. Then you got another one in two thousand eight. Boo Boo Andra, Demetrius. Boo Boo Andra. Yeah, yeah, Demetrius. Boo Boo. Yeah, Boo Boo is. He's on terror. No, no, dude, that yeah. dude. Yeah. I don't think good. no one wants to fight that. I kid. think he's the most avoided guy in boxing. Underrated. Right now. I'm gonna tell you. Well, underrated. He had, what nah. was going on with his career? Because he had some quiet years for a while. He was with fifty. Was he with 50, SMS or, or Fifty Cent? Or, I don't know. With uh, the Rock. I don't know. The Rock or the Rock. He was rock with, with somebody like else. I don't know. With his. They kind of promotional deal kind of slowed down his career a bit. Now he's with Dazone, right? Yeah, he's with Dazone. That's why he's straight. I think this is the best thing now. Now he's coming. He's coming. We've already seen. I've already seen him fight twice on a heard on those matchbooks USA yeah, yeah, shows yeah. and so so it's already a kind of a lift he's off for his yeah. career yeah. I think so out of that 160 division he's a well put together fighter oh yeah unorthodox the only off, problem the for him is that we haven't had enough time to build his name to get those money fights yet but the, you know? the, 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 the boxing people know everybody oh yeah if you're a boxing yeah, you, you, Finesse like you know you know who yeah. Demetrius Andrade is you're, 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 you're been let's, say, for let's say Daniel Jacobs wins does yeah. he gets a chance with Daniel Jacobs I, I don't I don't think Danny Jacobs they don't, wants that I don't smoke. think he wants that I don't, yeah. I, it's what I'm, what I'm saying from a financial perspective I don't know no although he although he would be a guy, that, a guy, two Americans that, that have maybe, I don't know if they've fought. Demetrius, Demetrius, let me not, just tell you this. Demetrius can pop both hands. He can, yeah. He's an owner of the He's a true southpaw, too. He's a true southpaw. Yeah, he can switch. Yeah. He, can, he can do it all. He's a, and he got the chin. Speaking yeah. of Dan yeah. Jacobs, talk to us about Dan Jacobs. We know you, you fought oh, him we a couple fought, times we, we, fought, we fought a uh, few times in the amateurs, and uh, I think he's doing good. He's doing great. He's fighting awesome. Canelo, bro. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's in a. <laughs> what you got? What do you, what do you think you're? you're I, I have uh, on. Danny Jacobs uh, upsetting. Really? Yeah. I got. So, I have an upset. Yeah. That's what I'm rooting for too. I, I, I have an upset for Danny, man. I think it's Danny beat the first convincingly. Even he beat DGG convincingly, more convincingly than Canelo did. Canelo, uh, did you see that fight? Yeah, I was there at that fight. He got yeah. dropped, but I mean, he got stumbled down. Well, I, I thought, I thought with with walking away from the fight, I, I, I thought that uh, it wasn't a draw. It should have been a draw. It should have been a draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anything, it should have been a draw, but, but it wasn't. Um, I thought but I thought that, Danny kind of pulled it off. It, Danny sort of, you know, when you see people people sort of show you a model, which is, hey, this guy can't can't deal with different looks and lateral movement, yeah. and you, you staying oh, defensively responsible. So, uh, and even the measures, all the little touches that was going on that with Danny Jacobs giving, you know, so I, and, and also to know that I think Danny had, uh, had uh, paired up with Virgil Hunter, Andre yeah. Ward's trainer, and that they went about fighting Triple G in a very cerebral sort of manner and yeah. it, it paying off and he looked great, so. Yeah, um, he did really good. So yeah. I think this fight, I mean, Canelo's gonna have to see a different look, Dan, a bigger guy. He's he's a little bit bigger than GGG, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little faster, Jacobs a little bit uh, yeah. uh, taller, more taller, and he has more, uh, more athletic, more athletic. Yeah. Way athletic. He doesn't have yeah. he doesn't have the the, the stocking heavy hands, but Danny yeah. can. He's gonna have that more slicker fast, too, slick, fast yeah. punch ability. It's gonna be a different look for Canelo. Um, it's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna sit there where you're gonna punch in a target like GGG is. He's in, Canelo's gonna really the, the have thing, his work cut the, out for him. The thing about Canelo that, that you gotta appreciate is that he's willing to take these fights. Canelo's a beast, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. They, they, like both these fighters, are just uh, there's there's. Different Danny, Jacobs, on Danny Jacobs has that in him too, though. They're both which is when, when, when I say that Danny Jacobs doesn't want that smoke with Andrade, I know that Danny Jacobs is from Brooklyn. He he doesn't. He would fight if that fight got lined up. But I'm just saying that in, when you're looking at Andrade, you know that's a tough fight for anybody in that division. And because he doesn't come with, you know, because he's not the name like those guys yeah. are the names of the division. I think they're they're looking past him. But you know. In all fairness to Danny Jacobs, he'll face whoever's put in front of him. Yeah. He's a fighter. So. Yeah. The money my only point was, my only point was I feel bad for right. Bubu Andrade because the money isn't there for him to get that opportunity. I don't think he has a big name. That's a, if right, he did, right. it would have. I'm just thinking made, purely yeah. financially. Yeah. I, I, I wish for him he could have that chance because right. that's a, you know. It, yeah. It's a Billy name. Joe thing didn't happen with the uh, performance enhancing drug. Yeah, he would have. Yeah. He would have. He would be getting that name. But he has a 2019, I think, good. Yeah. Andrade's gonna have a lot of a lot of good fights this year. The zone, yeah, I'm excited. They're, 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 the zone's awesome. Oh they're yeah, good. it's been good so far. You sit there, I sit there from five probably up to like ten at night, yeah. watching nothing but fights. Yeah. Like fight heaven. I guess it's, it's it's the best yeah. thing ever. You were mad. I remember you were mad when when uh, <laughs> HBO quit and then. 
Immediately, no, they're, 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 Zona, they're, I think they're still back on, right? HBO, they're only doing pay per view, right? Okay, is that the I don't think so. Well, I heard, I, I don't I think heard they're doing some, anything right now. Uh, really? I thought they were doing just gonna I, but do, I don't know. I bet you, I mean, they'll be back. They're, 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 they're well, like you know, it'll make sense. they'll be yeah. back eventually, but yeah. they're not doing anything. It's, it's, a, it's a hard sort of, I think the HBO, when, when they let Floyd go, which was just ridiculous. When he had the biggest fighter of, of, of our generation, yeah. and uh, whenever, however that relationship came about of being severed, that that was probably a bad move for them. That was sad. Yeah. I, I even posted something on like it's uh, yeah. been, that's why I got HBO. I'm like I, I, I got. Yeah, you know, I, I, I got I, it, I got into boxing watching HBO. <laughs> Me too. Boxing man. after dark and HBO yeah, World Championship boxing at they my put grandpa's on some house. Good fights, man. And that was, was kind of yeah. sad seeing seeing them walk away. You, like know, you know what was sad was watching. Um, uh, What's his name? The main, the main guy in the broadcast. Uh, Larry Merchant. No. Not yeah. Larry Merchant. Um, the guy who also used to do the Olympics. Oh, uh, Bernstein. Oh no. Um, give his final. Um, Teddy Ellis. No, no, no. He's from HBO. From oh, HBO. Oh. The main dude. Larry Merchant was uh, Jim Lampley. Jim Lampley. Lampley yeah, 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 yeah. Jim yeah. Lampley giving his yeah. final address when when he kind of let the, yeah, the press talk to him after that, yeah. after that last show, yeah. and he starts like. Almost you know, break down. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be cri- I'm gonna be critical of the HBO <laughs> guys. Um, I didn't. I think that when they were gone on the way out, I thought they were pushing a lot of the Russian fighters. Um, they were given, you know, that they sort of not. They weren't getting behind American fighters the way they should have been. This obviously is much more yeah. com- complicated with the prom- with the promoters and the managers and things going on. I think something the scenes, was going on with Floyd well, and, and something well, they were holding going, on to their yeah. investment because I believe yeah. they backed. It was something was going on in the, in the behind the scenes. They're highly but, critical. But, of them, but you know what, Showtime was doing good during yeah. that time so I was like oh shoot but, but it's, it's tough to say goodbye even, to HBO. even it's because it was a ritual for everybody like you like boxing after dark or you know any HBO show even 24/7 these are things that we all grew yeah. to love and, and we're all gonna miss that but it was a rite of passage to be able yeah. to make it that level till you you're gonna be on HBO now you know yeah but but it's how they were treating some of their marquee stars I felt like that they sort of put themselves in a position that it when it happened when the roof collapsed, it kind of made sense. I mean, even you know, they they had had some amazing yeah, yeah, events yeah. Mm-hmm. that yeah. d- didn't make sense with Kathy Duva, some of Duva's fighters, um, uh, some of the Russians. I can't remember uh, uh, Glasgow, oh, for example, when he yeah. fought. Uh, oh, the guy that was with the, the heavyweight from the Rock, um, the Southpaw. What's his name? Oh man, um, oh, God, he won a world. This is crazy. He was a world champion. Uh, um, Charles uh, Prince Charles, right? Oh yeah, oh, Charles Martin. Yeah. Charles, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but but yeah, somebody, he was a world champion yeah, 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 for, yeah, yeah. for yeah. one fight, one a month and then got, or two yeah, months yeah. before yeah, you yeah. fought Joshua, right? Got, yeah, 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 yeah. But you still, you yeah. know, to see HBO go out like that, you know, and and uh, but more importantly, other people step yeah, up. You start you start seeing so, the zone, PBC, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. and they're yeah. doing a great job. Yeah, so. Who else is uh, who else is, has a Spike? Spike, yeah, 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 ESPN. Fox has a deal. This is ESPN too, and now we're getting ESPN Plus as another streaming. Yeah, yeah, so there's there's like damn like so, HBO so, had a lot to to there's a big it, competition. It's right a now. rough question. You think you think Abner dodged a bullet? Uh, Dude, that's a tough one. I have to see that first round knockout. Yeah. God. Um, for the I, U- I, I I I don't think he dodged the bullet. I th- I think I think he just needs to get healthy, mm-hmm. come back and think about fighting Tink again. I don't know. Yeah. It's a big yeah. if. He don't he doesn't have to, but. We were all excited to watch that. I was, uh, I wanted to, uh, because I, when that when they yeah. told me when I when I seen uh, the fight got canceled, I was just like, I was heartbroken. With I, was me, like, with I really me, want to watch that fight. Uh, I know Abner personally. I, I thought Davis was finally in a was going to face a fight. fight in a real fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I was kind of heartbroken. I was like, damn, yeah. I, there's a real fighter that's going. I think Abner was going up on weight uh-huh. to 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 challenge. Yeah, I like that that Davis. Abner was with Robert Garcia. I like that. Dude, I, Robert, the thing about if you if you hear fighters like coaches like Al Bernstein, Robert Garcia, you know their fighters are going to come to fight. Did you see uh, Osisito Lopez do the Thurman? Yeah. 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 Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. We Ooh, talk, he put on a performance. The odds are like what, one a yeah. set. Like they're, they're, no, it, yeah. was it was crazy. Like Fifteen yeah. to one or the, it, was it was like something. it was something cra- crazy. That was not supposed to happen. Right. Thurman was it was I know it was I had a layoff like two years or something like that. But still, Thurman's in the, everybody thought Thurman's gonna be Thurman. And get yeah. this kid. I mean, he did hurt him yeah. the first brown pressure, yeah. But yeah. I'm first, I, I, first I, I, round. In all fairness, I was, 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 I
when you're when you're fighting with somebody that has that temperament, that is his mind is set on that. Yeah. I think that has to do with Lopez more than I, people say. Well, Keith Thurman might have been rusty because he'd been out the ring. To me, no, Lopez's man. will, like some people, yeah, no, he, no. he was coming with uh, with a one track mind. He looked he looked great. Yeah, and he looked great with Robert Garcia. So yeah, he had he had the he was doing the the Lopez. So he was a really good fighter. I mean, he just he's, he's he has a lot of heart yeah. and a lot of. Not a ball. Do you know him well too? Because yeah, no, I, 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 right? I, we used to we used to you know, fight yeah. for the same promoter, fighting the same fight cards, and we're under Chris Gariola with Henry, and then oh, you were Gerson oh, Tudor, yeah, yeah, right? That's right. Tudor, and uh, we used to see him fight. I mean, he has balls and heart, you know. Oh, Cesito, and then you have Robert Garcia in your corner, dude. Yeah. Man, anything's possible, and he made that a fight. I thought, man, I thought he was gonna knock Thurman out. You know, the ninth round, the seventh round, the seventh round. Uh, shit, yeah. I was like. This is it. And yeah, he didn't just have him hurt that round. He was having him hurt earlier, other, other different round, or, different time. rounds of the fight. I was like, shit. But I mean, he, he snuck. He, Thurman snuck away. Stay away from Pacquiao, yeah, man. Yeah. I don't think he's ready for Pacquiao. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. Because yeah, yeah. uh, <laughs> he was saying he wants Pacquiao next, and I was like, oh, I don't think so. Pacquiao. I, I think Keith Thurman for this fight, we we get to see that. As far as those names are considered in his division, oh, everybody was cutting him out, man. Yeah. Everybody was like, oh, was I want to fight this guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everybody yeah. wants to fight this guy now, yeah. but uh, but I think uh, so yeah. Keith Thurman as a person though is, is no, he's fucking dude, great solid. guy. Yeah, yeah. Solid. incredible, solid guy, so, focused. You know that he's great. dedicated to it. So Keith's the kind of guy that walks away that has his ego in in check and says, hey, I need to go back to the drawing board. Oh, you won't. Get, you won't. He's not gonna. You so know, you see those guys who won't, won't he's not accept like, when you see Chris Keith Thurman again. His own. He's gonna be a different fighter. Yeah, absolutely. That's he's a, gonna be yeah. a whole different fighter. Yeah, that's but, who I Keith mean, is. So I mean, I mean, two years yeah. coming back and yeah. he, he, he's a, things. I think he's gonna go back to the drawing board and he'll, he's gonna be a different. It's, it's not that he, he. It's not that he did. Like you know what I was saying in the seventh round. He kept. He kept going straight back. And I said, stop going straight back, cut an angle, cut an angle, cut an yeah, angle. And, also see and, and I was there just stalking him and barely, you know. Those overhand rights were straight yeah. right back and so, just caught him. That's a good fight. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I don't think he should take uh, Pacquiao next. I, that will, Pacquiao's fucking awesome. Did you see that, Broner? Yeah. Like, yeah what do you yeah, think yeah. about that? Well, I mean, I, to be honest with you, uh, I, you know, I guess Pacquiao had the flu, right? And I think that Broner was kind of lucky that Pacquiao had the flu. <laughs> like, I didn't even hear that, dude. I, I, I was surprised yeah. even Broner was throwing that yeah. left hook. Yeah. Like, you know, the first th three rounds I, I gave to Broner, it was like, yeah. oh, shit. Broner, Broner looked good in the first, yeah. first three or four. Yeah, three yeah. or four rounds, he looked good. But after that, Pacquiao was just taking Pacquiao the started. But Pacquiao traditionally doesn't look good in the for opening round. Yeah, he's still started kind yeah, of yeah, a yeah, weird yeah. way. So and he, as fast as in footwork. You know what? Actually, Pacquiao doesn't have that little... Jump no more, right? Is it well, the, the little, the little, the, the Pacquiao yeah. shuffle step thing. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Was, I think it's Marquez. He, yeah. I think he. Oh, from from jump, from getting countered. Yeah, yeah. getting yeah. countered, doing that little jump. Yeah. I didn't see that that last fight, uh -huh. but but yeah. he had it against Jeff Horn. Observation, Mr. Show. He did, did he? Yeah, yeah, a little, but. But the thing that I will notice about is it was Manny is that when they said that Manny was sick, and I don't believe Manny being the professional that he is, yeah. I don't, you know, when he comes out and then he immediately he's done with the, uh, oh, when, you know, when they meet each other after uh, the press conference, yeah, he said, hey, look, I'm I'm sick, and he left, and and you know to know that Manny still is this, who Manny is, which is I think he's got a couple more fights left. Dude, he's Manny, one, yeah. Manny has. I'm, I'm telling Keith that. Thurman stay away from Manny Pacquiao because. Yeah. I'm saying he's he still has a lot of fights left. Yeah, a lot of a, fights. At least good four or five good fights, mega fights, big fights. What are you about, uh, about Floyd and him possibly doing it again? Uh, Floyd will get beat this time. Floyd, yeah. what, three years? It's been three years yeah, since. Yeah. We, we won't count the McGregor fight, but since yeah, after yeah. a real. Are we counting the Japanese guy? No, not that. <laughs> so you oh, think, man, we can't count that, but that was it's, a, it's a di so I think it's a difficult fight with Floyd. The question is whether or not Floyd has aged in the last three years. Oh, yeah. So, no, nah, he, he won't. Mean, uh, Manny Pacquiao, you put Floyd in it, Manny by Pacquiao will beat Floyd. Yeah. There's no, there's, uh, if you count, was it three years? He's been out for three years? It's hard, count it's, the McGregor it's, or the it's hard for me guy. to bet against Floyd in that matter. I'm going to pick Floyd over, over Manny just because of who Floyd is. Ooh, man. Yeah, but I, I, but, I, but, but I, I will say this about um, the thing that is, is that, History, I learned my lesson. I history, learned better, yeah. history will tell us, though, when you step away from boxing for that many years. This isn't like when he stepped away and, and came back and fought yeah. Marquez, that he probably isn't going to be the same. And so I can definitely see where you're coming from. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so about stepping away from boxing. Over the last several years, has there been any um, draw, any urge inside your your soul to want to come back and be in the ring again. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm very happy for you. You look, you look I'm, like you're doing, you're I'm thriving in life. You got your business. You're, yeah. you're doing well. You got your training business. Um, 
it you're lucky you're lucky to not have to be taking punches for a living but has there been any moment in your the last couple of years that you've thought damn i wish i will i wish i you know can start this comeback uh i'm 32 campaign so. and oh you're yeah. so young i'm, I'm well i still yeah. i'm gonna turn 33 so i'm old so for old for boxing but i mean i still have a few years I, I think about it sometimes i miss it i mean when you see you see like uh you see rashi warren he was he was, right. a, he was a teammate and you have uh gary russell you see javier molina doing his thing still you have uh, uh giante and i was like damn man I could be up there too. And I have all yeah. this stuff. Uh, the whole the only team is actually do, you they're know, doing good in the pros. They're doing good right now with yeah, they're doing with really, Johnny, with Wilder, with uh, Oh man, they're doing good in the Russell. pros. Yeah, yeah so yeah, when man. I see these guys, yeah. I mean Rashi Warren just lost to that French guy, right? And I was like, yeah, man. but he lost some in the Olympics, right? But, yeah, 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 the French guy. Yeah, he did. Yeah, the he French did guy beat the Olympics. beat yeah. Rashi, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. But and just I was that one that fight I was like, little Rashi, man, it's a Man, I used to run around and try to catch that dude around the ring and stuff like that. He used to always be a funny dude. But, like, watching all these guys fighting, I'm like, damn, man. Like, I miss it. Yeah, to answer your question, I do miss it. Uh, maybe, I mean, maybe, but I mean, just got to get a little team. That's all. That's, yeah. with, your career, with your career, do you felt like, because I remember thinking that, you know, obviously, that to be honest with you, you're going to be the next Oscar De La Hoya. Because you were an Olympian, maybe not, you know, the gold medalist, but we had... People in LA at that time. I lost saying. to James Goodell. The, the, I lost to the gold medalist. Yeah, uh, yeah, but I. Oh I, yeah. I, I Damn. To, I lost to James Goodell. Yeah. I fought Sean Porter. I don't know how yeah. many times I fought that Sean. Too, yeah. um, shit, Danny, we fought a couple, a few, a Jacob, lot of times. Yeah. Um, Nelson, we fought. I fought a lot. Of Edwin Rodriguez. Yeah. Fought him, I fought him a couple, few times. And all these guys did um, did a lot, right? Yeah, they did a lot in the program, and yeah, it, just, it, it haunts me a little bit. It, it, Saying get my get my ass back in the in the gym. So. You were you had a, a lot of injuries, is from what I understand. A lot of injuries, uh, Achilles. Uh, um, I tore my ACL, uh, my bicep. I broke my hand and just like broke my nose a couple times. I mean, just injury problem. So yeah. I mean, that's what separated me from from going to that level. And so now you have the opportunity. So we, as I understand, you're working with fighters yourself now. Yeah, I have a few fighters do a little strength work, certified, kind of NASM. Um, um, I I work at a gym, uh, in Elite Pro Boxing. Shout out Steve. So what's up, to Steve from Elite Pro Boxing Gym? And uh, I have a few fighters. David on. I got the Duar the Duarte twins. Mm -hmm. One of them's gonna be fighting at the Microsoft Theater. Then I got Q. I got a couple of the Russians coming back and. Uh, we do the little strength conditioning, work a little bit in the gym, but it's fun. I mean, I, I love to be around it. Like yeah. Gary said, all that rack of that experience. Yeah. For, just for, like being around the, the gym. For the podcast people that don't know about Elite Pro Boxing in, in, in Santa Fe Springs, California, so you speak on it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, you have the high talent right yeah, now, right? So, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. You, there's you have a uh, we have a lot of we have a lot of a lot of guys training there. You got Brandon Cannon Adams. Mm -hmm. um, he he just won the just the, contender, the, the, right? contender. the contender. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he just you know Brandon did good. I, um, he was an underdog going into that whole show. I mean, he's a small 60, but a, packs a big punch. Dude, this guy's incredible in shape, always in shape, always has a good smile, and his, uh, nice smile, big, he's always smiling. A lot of good people at Elite I've worked with a corner, yeah. Ricky Hasia. Yeah, Ricky yeah, yeah, Hasia, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's good. Yeah, yeah he's, he's over at Elite, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the guys like that. So, I mean, then we have our boot camp classes, we have our... Kids that's classes. the money maker. Boot camp that's like them, that, those, those classes we used to make on the west side when we take the teach those. <laughs> Dude, what, 150 an hour? Yeah, that's right. $150 an hour? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it funny? Hey, dude, isn't it funny how this sport is now the new hot thing? It's a boutique boxing gym. You know? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're cashing in on it to an extent. I wish I was cashing in on it, on it more. But it's like, you know, we, at AD Radio, we paid $50 a year to train there. Yeah. Now, now when we doing lessons on the West Side, we were charging like 150 an hour yeah. for the for the one on one lessons, just to meet meet somebody at the punches to make them feel special I, for I, hitting I somebody. Think, I think sometimes they, they want to do they want to get the Floyd Mayweather. They want to feel yeah. that they, they want to do it, this. And they boxing wanna, is wanna perfect feel sexy for, and shit. Uh, yeah. for social media. <laughs> oh yeah, because if you can get a good pad clip. And, oh, and then they convince everybody else that, hey, I know how to box because I can hit these pads on the 10-punch yeah. you know, combination. I can do so. a 10-piece on the yeah, bag. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah, do a 10-piece yeah. on the mitts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff like that. And they yeah. want to, you know what? Honestly, boxing is a good, really good exercise. If you put one hour of strength conditioning and boxing and, and just a little bit of mixture and everything, 
making so, uh, an ordinary person feel like they 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 can box and never done this before. Direct make, make, make make them feel sexy yeah, yeah, yeah. and make Self-based them feel like audience, they're man. on top of the world. I mean, I, it's it feels good. Give them, yeah. It's also good for boxing. It, I mean, I mean, it's awesome. It, I, I love yeah. it. I love doing this, yeah. and I have a, a lot of clients, and and uh, we we go we go hard, man. It's, I mean, you can we, imagine we, how many we, more people are are being introduced to the sport. Because of these boxing classes or these, you know, these gyms uh, and so forth. I encourage everybody so. just uh, try try a boxing class and give it a give it a roll. It's a lot of yeah. guys too. They're probably finding out the reality that it's not a as lot, easy as they think. It a, is. Lot guys, a lot of guys, a lot of Instagram <laughs> chicks saying yeah. that, that um, <laughs> I am a boxer, which means I went to a class, a boxer's yeah. size class. <laughs> yeah, the only thing is just tell, I just tell I tell my class <laughs> if you're doing the those commercial classes, it feels sexy, you feel. Feel like you're on top of the world. But don't pass, don't try to get a pull your license out the next day and say I'm a box. It'll, it'll probably won't go in your yeah. favor, man. Catch up, real quick. It's not gonna go well, brother. <laughs> you gotta go to a real trainer, to a real gym, bro. So right, right, right. I mean, you mean like one, like a gym with a ring? You mean? I mean, <laughs> yeah. 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 one of those gyms. Some of these gyms got them. they got the ring and the ropes don't even work. Have you, have you seen no, this? The ring is, is, is it, you know it's funny that you, it's, you um, have uh, these guys. It's a prop. Only, it, yeah, you have these fucking guys who are, are seen on on fucking uh, what do you call it YouTube and on the Instagram. They don't know shit about boxing. They just took a class like a survey class on on. It's well, how Roger Mayweather does his thing, <laughs> and they go, they copy that, they they, uh, yeah. they they get the 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 blueprint of that, and they you see these guys doing all this stuff, and mm-hmm. it, it's, it's incredible. I was talking about that like, God, pa- work uh, with uh, Joe Zanders last night, the USA Boxing National Coach, yeah, and saying, hey, like, like this is just okay. it's, it's the funny. pad work, the 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 touch and goes that people are trying to do, and that. That it really work. like it doesn't work. Right? It doesn't it work. work. It doesn't work. It doesn't like, work. Like, but I'm just yeah. for if you want to feel sexy yeah. again, if you want to get a good workout, you want that cardio, and you want to get a badass workout, go for it. I mean, it's right. there. But if you're trying to fight, I don't think that's enough. Yeah, work. definitely, definitely I gonna get, go to Elite Pro, and you can yeah, get both. Yeah, right? yeah, you can get both. <laughs> you can get both. <laughs> you can learn how to fight. The best of both worlds: the real right. stuff and, the, and some of the right, right. cardio and film. You, you're gonna. Get a good forty-five minutes to an hour workout. Good and if you one. really want to jump in, you go to Maywood Boxing Club. Right? Yeah, that's that's a legit. Yeah, yeah. Maywood. Yeah, if you want to be a real. Yeah, they, they got the real they stuff. They give an ass kicking for free. Like, yeah, they're giving ass kicking for free. It's just still Saturday <laughs> Saturday mornings to be there at nine o'clock. <laughs> yeah. you, can, uh, you can find seventeen oh, different man. looks. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, and it's 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 funny. It's a, it's a, the new trend right now, right? It's like right. The, the thing. Every you see all these girls are posting. I'm doing the boxing thing. They're having right, clothes. Right. Right, it's yeah. fun. It's 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 it's. I like it. It's it's a cool. <laughs> but like I said, at the end of the day, if it's bringing more people to the sport, I it, love it. Yeah, come uh, come it's down. It's kind of not though, but that's. No, that, that's the, I think that when people walk away, they like they like even someone doing a, a jab cross. But you know what happens? Right you hand, know what happens? They now realize it's like, not that easy. You know what? They immediately <laughs> no, some fall of the people, in a lemon lemon Lomachenko because it's like. Right, you go someone ahead. who looks like me. The moment I find a good <laughs> fighter, in I mean, he's right, Russian. Right, he has right, nothing right, in common right, with you, yeah, but yeah, he looks yeah, like you. Know? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, a, yeah. Side, side note. But yeah, you know what? I'm say I bring my pros, and I and I and I, I, I try to uh, have my pros working out with them, doing the like the strength conditioning with yeah. them. I get a little bit of the realness, a little bit. Right, right. But but I try to stay away from the, the pity pat. The, the so behind the, money, man. the what, behind the back, the behind the, the back, the, 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 shot. Yeah, the, yeah. Oh man, do you see that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, I think that's funny, man. I'm like the. How about hey? But speaking of behind the back, Roger Trainer does one. Um, oh man. So and, and Roger did one, but the thing is, is that they're doing it just for the TV. They're yeah, just for the TV. Yeah, they're doing, they're, Instagram. I think they're yeah. doing it for like, you know for the show. Yeah, but yeah. I, when I don't. Yeah, behind doors, I think Floyd's really really cooking. Well, the things too, they have a conversation like a very like. I mean, they're not talking about the boxing. It's not pad work. Yeah. At the at the end of the day, and you have all these people that, for example, I was talking about this. If if I hit you with a um, a left hook to the body and you pick me up with a right uppercut, left hook, right cross, you know if someone's hitting you with a left. But oh, yeah. they're just literally. It's like it's like a monkey see, monkey do. It's, it's, they it's just a touch. Routine. They have no idea what these counters mean. You know Nothing. how they it's, apply it's, it. it's just so. all touch and it's, it's yeah. all like. It's all routine. It's all programs. I'm gonna right. go through this routine. If right. they really do spar, they're gonna be stuck. I'm like, what do I do? Oh yeah. yeah. How, how do I get his head? Can you put your head right here if I can do this? This. There's <laughs> a lot of uh, <laughs> a work. lot of people on my Instagram feed that uh, 
have much sexier pad work than I've ever been able to do. Right. You know? You're an actual <laughs> you're an actual fighter, dude. Yeah. 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 You know what? Actually, no. somehow, man, they fucking blow it off, and I yeah. and I might. You, you know, I, I, honestly, there, there's some trainers that um I can't do the you know the all the fancy stuff. Oh, I yeah. can do a little bit, but I, I choose not to stay away from it. But uh, uh, but some of these guys that never done boxing, never had a fight, they just move to Santa Monica and they just like oh they they step into boxing burner. Or some yeah, one of these one of these, these boutique. Yeah, and they're just like, oh, you want to be a trainer? We can teach you teach you how to um, do the pad work. Well, and, they have yeah, and and they're they're, well, they're they have a six pack, Sean. They're, yeah, yeah. They're, they're selling. They're, 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 they're doing a cartwheel the and <laughs> they're salesmen. <laughs> they're doing like, what do people are calling you? I'm like, what the fuck is this, bro? What is this gone to? <laughs> it's like <laughs> levitating. <laughs> a kid from Midwest never. Right. Boxing is live. Now he's right. like this famous right. boxing yeah. trainer. He's doing. You should, you should see it. So I spent a lot of time in New York City. You should see what New York New York City's uh, boutique oh, boxing man. gym oh, it's is hilarious. out of control. You've never seen anything I, like that. You know what? I'm, I'm sometimes I'm, on my day off, I go um, when I'm working. I have regular clients in, in Santa Monica and Pasadena. I go to these gyms just to sit there and just. Laugh at the midwork. This is so funny. You know what? Oh like, oh, shit. Sean, I give you, I give you props, Sean, because if I were if I were you, I wouldn't be talking shit because I would, oh, that's, that's I'm what? sure I'm sure there's been a situation where someone looks at you and and gives you advice like. Like hey, no, I I do. Do. no, no, I go, I go in there and, and I go but there. They don't know, they don't know that you're there, a Tasmanian Olympian. And, and they're like, oh yeah, you want to do a box? I just play along with it. I don't know, like, really? show them how to do it. Yeah. Like, you, you, you know, and they're like, you have to do this and do that and right, right. do this and do, follow this routine. I'm like, the patience I'm like, you have. <laughs> like a fucking, it's like my mind is just, just exploding, just, <laughs> just exploding with laughter. Dude. It was like, yeah. fuck, this well, is well, you know what I do hope to just have a real conversation. I hope these people don't don't take this and translates over to the parking lot oh, in, no. a, in, a, in a moment of road That's rage what I'm saying. where they think that they can fight. <laughs> don't pull your license out. If you're, if you're doing this boutique boxing, yeah. um, don't pull your license and think you're going to fight. Yeah, it's don't have a moment where you think yeah. you can fight. First go to Maywood. Go to, go to Lee Pro Boxing or Maywood and you'll yeah. get a free ass kicking first and see, <laughs> right, right. see, see, see or a free sparring. See whether or not this is for you. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> they haven't tasted their own blood in their mouth yet. Oh shit, that's just so. Funny. I laugh at that. It's, 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 or give me a call because I'm doing some matchmaking now so I I'm looking for some B-siders. There it is. Right? Yeah. Yeah. When, I, when I need some guys, I'll... You're looking for someone with blue yeah, corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm looking back. for some guys, yeah. Right. Did you ever catch on to the, the midwork, Gary? You were there. Yeah, but I wasn't very good at it. As a trainer, I, I was, we were training people together. He got me a job in a gym in Santa Monica. Yeah. It was great, you know. We, uh, basically, we we're, were training, you yeah. know, <laughs> rich people from Brentwood, and we got made, you know, we made good money or whatever doing yeah, it. Yeah. And it was fun, you it know. It was fun, it was fun. But yeah. I actually never got to the level of being a... Although I could give good boxing advice, I think, you know, from you a fighter's But you never got to I never work. got to sexy pad work level because right. I just wasn't there yet. And, you know, maybe I would have signed more personal sessions if I had gotten better at it. But yeah. <laughs> I and, I, and I think they have a word for that, the mi mi mixtologist or... Mythologist. Mythologist. Uh, oh, oh, God. God. This is crazy. Oh, yeah. but I hear that shit, I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> I haven't heard this yet. That's great. <laughs> That's, I'm like, oh, God. I'm going to put that on my resume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to put that up. I'm, I'm updating my LinkedIn I'm tonight. Done. Here yeah. I'm gonna go on uh, Instagram. Mythologist. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put that mixed mythologist. Like I, that's my first thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna change that. Take out, take out 2008 Olympian. Bump that down the list and put mythologist. Mythologist. That's yeah, what yeah, I'm gonna yeah. do. Yeah. Um, I noticed that boxing other, guys say like they call it the pads more. Like hey bro, hey bro, yeah, can, yeah, can, yeah, can, I, can I get pads? some pads? Oh, yeah. But they call it the mitts. <laughs> like, the mitts like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, can I get the the mitts. I'm gonna yeah, do yeah, a, yeah, a yeah. twenty piece combo. Like I'm, 20, still, yeah. I'm just gonna move my wrists. It's this. um. <laughs> this is this is 2019. So, this is yeah. boxing. Oh yeah. So Sean, any other uh, business aspirations or because uh, because you're someone who I've seen who's made a nice little business out of. The training, you you caught onto the trend at least better than than I have, and um, I know we've kind of gone down the as friends we've kind of gone down this rabbit hole where we talk about ideas, and I, you you know that I want to get into promoting some yeah. promoting fights someday. I just want to give you a chance to, to talk about anything you have with or whether it be in this niche or outside this niche. Yeah, I'll be up a gym. I'm looking. Yeah, uh, it's time. I yeah. Think it's been in doing, Norwalk area? I've been doing, yeah. No, no, we're going to do some uh, Cerritos. Okay. Artesia. Um, cool. 
Um, that area needs a gym because they only have the the gym in Norwalk, right? Yeah, they only have. There's actually, I think, is Legend closing down? I have no idea. No way. I, I thought I heard a rumor. I don't don't take it from me. I just heard they're they they might. The only Legends I know is one in Long Beach, and they're they're doing good. They're um, still open. Yeah, the one in uh, I, th- I thought they were gonna. That was like the, the Watson's gym closed down. The Watts gym? Yeah, the brand new Watson gym. That's the only reason. Watson. Wa- yeah, the not Watts. Watson. Watson. No, the, yeah, the, the one the, in, uh, San, uh, in, in uh, the Valley. Yeah, yeah. That closed down. It's gone. Crazy, right? Yeah. That turns just out, turns out, guys, yeah. the ODM gym is not really good. Well, this I mean, it, I don't know too much <laughs> about it, but I guess you know. But you know what it is? You know, you know, you know what? The, you know what? You know what, why they close down? They don't commercialize it. Yeah. No, you can't have a gym that's profitable for fighters. It do, it, just it doesn't, doesn't work. work. But but Sean, it you know how to you for instance being a trainer who trains guys at um, at Elite Pro. Yeah. And you have your own personal clients. You actually do know how to train for the client base that pays the money. Yeah. And you know how to train I, for the I fighters from that the don't pay the money. I learned from the best, and it was uh it was on the I think the Rock program they had a heavyweight program like. Yeah, you the all that, American heavyweights. Yeah, I remember you that. You remember that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Steve King or whatever his name. He yeah, died. Yeah, yeah. He passed away. Mike King. Mike King. No, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Steve King. Mike King. Whatever. Whatever his name was. But there was a guy. My first. One, like it was like four years ago. His name is Leon Zambuki or Zambuki. But he he was he's the owner of Cloverworks. Okay. He's the one that put me on. Yeah. He said, "Hey, look." He yeah. opened it, yeah, when yeah. when Cloverworks barely opened the one in Wilshire. He he there, that was the first gym. Now they have one in Clover City, that one in New York, so, and there and, and and Iron was like the Iron and Cloverworks. That was the only gym in the West Side, and I think Leon was breaking away from Iron because Iron was barely new, and he's the one that put me on. He goes, "Come here, Sean. Let me tell you something. Boxing, it's poor man's sport. Very poor. It's yeah. poor man's sport. Is it's." it's I mean, and you're at, oh, unless if you make the big money, no, you're yeah, not a poor man. But on your way up, on your way up, it's yeah. a poor man's sport. It's been a poor man's sport. It's Sean, been, yeah. so, I can you, just imagine Sean, you going, yeah, I, I, yeah. I grew up in like the city of Commerce. I used yeah. to do this shit. <laughs> I, 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 I know. I know. I was all right. And he was like, he's, like, he's like, we have to commercialize. Because I didn't know that. I didn't know how you commercialize that, like, make something into a business. Yeah. And so, you, but I you what, kind of did the pet talk. But what you're doing right is that you have a lot of clients. And you have your overhead is a lot smaller because you take him to the park, you set yeah. up the whole gym there, you take him to your garage, set him to the gym. Right. The problem Why with the, the problem with no. with opening up a gym <laughs> is that you have all the it's incredible overhead. You're paying yeah. first of all the rent, the yeah. insurance, the electricity. You take him to the park, you make him feel sexy, like you said. You make him feel like the getting, getting way, a good burn, and they're, yeah. they're ready the to only go. way the only way you're, you're gonna make a profitable like like see some kind of green. In a gym, if you commercialize it, yeah, have some pros in there, but having if you're the owner, first of all, and then you know how to run classes. Mm-hmm. If you know how to do classes, if you know if you if you've done the whole Glover experience and the whole UFC experience and all that stuff, knowing how to do classes, then and getting certified, you know, NASM and your kettlebell certifications and all that, knowing your stuff, really knowing legitimate, yeah. you know, your stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, what you do? So, yeah, what yeah. I do, and they, they, they can't. Yeah, you obviously you're fighting. And I, and I, got, I know, obviously, you can't tell me nothing about boxing. And so. then that's that's the cool um, thing that, that hey, Sean could put on a, a class for soccer moms. But also, if if somebody wanted to check you on, like, oh, you're not hey, doing do you know right? anything about boxing? Excuse me, I'm the only I'm the only Olympian in the room. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have two hundred and something thirty <laughs> fights, and, or yeah. so I have two hundred and something. You're fights, fifteen and over. Right, uh, 16 16 right? 14 knockouts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I'm only. Check my background. Yeah, yeah. Who's your last? Oh, you know, check my background, bro. They might not even know the website Boxer. You might have to introduce that to them. Yo, I get a lot of. I get a lot of those people like, like when I'm doing a a big fitness class, like at least 20 to 30, 40 people in one class, and and uh, you get these old heads. They're like watching class. They're like, she's not doing the hook right, and I'm like. I'm the only one instructor here. And I'm like, <laughs> like 40 to 30 people in this class, man. Like, who the fuck are you to tell me to? No, no, no. <laughs> this, this, um, this is, happens a lot, right? Yeah, you know? all the time, man. It's yeah. funny. I, it's I, a kid that I trained, I was looking at, um, I was holding pads for him. They literally just had him probing the guard. Why? And then when I jumped in, he checked hook. So, you know, someone's probing the guard, the hand is open. Like, they're just, yeah. like, keeping them there. And the, some random guy is like, hey, when you're throwing the jab, you should keep your hand closed. I'm like, yeah, you, you get that shit a lot, like, It's like, uh, you, like what's Instagram guy. No, I don't know. What's your expertise? No, what do you do for a living? I do yeah. construction. Bro, I got, I got, uh, he never does, yeah. doesn't know anything about boxing, but he's trying to tell you 
how to do a check hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got more followers than you on what, 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 What's the <laughs> same? They don't, they, you, you, you don't know the difference between a check hook and a fisher. You should probably not be part of this conversation. Oh, shit. So, so cool. what's your take on, as a big fight coming up, and we've been asking everybody about it, which is obviously Earl Spence and Mikey Garcia. Shit. You know what? That's a hard one. You know what? You, you know what? This year, 2019, are going to be a lot of fights like that. Mm-hmm. They're not going to... There's no half, 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 half-assing... Fights no more. They're, they're gonna be fights all year long, like Mikey Garcia and Spence. But saying that, as I don't know, I gotta go with Mikey. Yeah. I just see Mikey just a technician. He can hit both hands, and I think he's just an all smart Spence. Spence. Spence is a great, a good fighter. Hasn't really fought anybody, and he just has power. But I think Mikey can overcome that. He sees something like Mike, like Robert Garcia. He sees something I don't see. And when he, Mikey's, he's like a he's like a bald eagle, bro. He can mm. see he can see something, and he see he, he see himself beating Spence, overcoming that power, yeah. seeing that away from him. And, he, and, and Mikey Garcia can, he's a he, he's he's offensively, defensively, yeah, he can do it all. Put together, bro. Yeah. And we, I, my, 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 I don't have oh a much yeah, different take than you, which is that when people ask my opinion about it, if we're only Mike, right? yeah, if we're measuring craft as far as skill level. Brute I'm, strength. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll go, go with craft. Yeah, craft. I'm going Mikey. Yeah, yeah. My, I'll, Mikey, I'll, Mikey, Mikey doesn't. Well, Mikey hits hard his, too, and, and he's he very, has, he's very sneaky with his footwork yeah. and how he lines his stuff up. Yeah, man. And, it, and uh, but so obviously, it's whether or not he can deal with the size and strength of, of Earl. If he can, I think it's going to be a hell of a fight. If you I, weather the storm, I'm, yeah. I, I, I'm sure Mikey can, but I, so, I, 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 I have. It's not something the Garcia family doesn't bring anybody to lay down. They, that's not that's not who they are. They, and they train they, really hard. They're not. That come, camp they is, see something. Oh yeah. They, yeah. And, the, and the father's involved. Do you ever work around so, with those guys? Yeah. Yeah. I've, yeah. Mikey, I know Mikey's been since the amateurs. He's a good fighter. He's oh discipline. He's 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 ready to fight every time. I mean, shit. This I I, I have Mikey winning. I have him not a knockout, but I have him winning like I think four four rounds. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a close fight. I, mean, I think I'm it's a great, I think it's one of the most exciting. Fight. I have Mikey oh, winning four rounds. This is like, how I four, think about uh, it. Uh, uh, when, when you heard when Lomachenko was fighting Rigondeau, seven it, four. When, when you heard about that, everybody was getting excited because it's yeah. this high level of skill. Yeah. That's what I think about when I think about Mikey and, and, and Earl. I think, man, we are in for. A that's great it. That's fight. gonna be. A, I think that's gonna be one of the fights of the year. I think. So, if, if, I, I, and sometimes it might not have that certain look that we're all hoping for, but that's because they're both very skilled fighters, and they, they definitely know. Because Mike, I always say Mikey doesn't make any agreements. If you take a little step towards uh, you him, know what? I thought he that, puts you right in his distance. He keeps his distance. He keeps you on Mikey's distance. And I don't think Earl's ever had to face somebody like that. That is that is gonna that makes no agreements at all. No, I, I, I totally agree with you. So, I, I think Mikey's is. Uh, I just like the the t- he's a, he's gonna be a technician that night and he's gonna, he's gonna pick a piece Errol Spence and take the power away from him and he has good feet work, yeah. sneaky feet work. Hey, I, his footwork is so, the way you know. He, 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 people, he I, say this, I, I, I say this to people. He's, it's the not like he's like he's yeah. in the, he's like he's like no. oh yeah he's like oh shit. My, he's like, my, he's my, like, Mikey Mikey he knows, knows how to put the to, pressure. Knows how to, he knows how to load his feet and makes little oh, small dude. adjustments when people are when. They have no idea because I said this to somebody the other day. I said Mikey Garcia has some of the best footwork I've ever seen, and they looked at me because they expect footwork to have like Lomachenko. They expect yeah. it to have a certain look to it. I said, no, this guy's efficient. He knows exactly where yeah, he's this, all the time. The, Errol, the Spence and Mikey are uh, one of the fights, but I would love to see her, the winner of these two with Terence Crawford. And then we, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We that, that fight. Woo, Sean, I want to ask you. I want to ask you um, in in your extension <clears throat> extensive amateur career. Okay. Uh, you know fighting people in, in many world tournaments. Who is the toughest fighter you ever came across? Um, whether it's someone we know of or someone that um, maybe is one of these guys from a country that never never maybe uh, had a big pro career after. But I want to know who was the toughest guy you uh, came in the amateurs because you fought them all, really. Yeah, I fought, I fought them all. I think Matt Korobov. Did you see that fight? I thought he won. Yeah, I thought he won too. I thought he won every round till the ninth round. Yeah, he's he's put together. You see, he's... Green. He's awesome, Matt Korobov. He's he's really good. Um, yeah, he's tough. I think with him, James Adele, I think Danny Jacobs was one of the hardest. Sean Porter. Yeah. One, one of the tough yeah people forget Sean Porter was in your division, right? Right yeah, now. Once he's, he was this small, it, it was hard to hit him because it was he would come in and out, coming in and out. He had good feet work. He, mm-hmm. The way he fights now, 
he had just imagine him putting a lot of muscle on, and that's how he fought 165 division. And it was it was a tough little fucker, man. I'm trying to get him, yeah. trying to chase him around, but he was in and out. It was really hard. To oh, Sean catch. Porter, even to the, he's going to give anybody a hard night. I mean, anybody, bro. He's he's yeah. really he's. I like to see he's him a very good athlete. He's a really they good should, athlete. They should line uh, him and Thurman again. I mean, that was a good fight. Yeah. That was a good fight. Or or that's that, another yeah, fight. Danny yeah. Garcia too. And that the best fighter, too. the yeah. best fighter you ever fought, best talent you think like. Matt Corbell, Mark Corbell, or James Goodell. James Goodell, the, 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 those two were, were, and Danny Jacobs, and Sean Porter. I'll, 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 say, up, all you, four, I'll you, say all four of those guys. You keep in touch with any of those guys? Uh, here and there, say, say hi. Say, like, keep, like, I keep in touch with Terrence a little bit. Terrence Crawford. Yeah, say hi. Go say hi. Ter- Terrence is, uh, is, is, to me, I mean, just... He's pound for pound, bro. Yeah, yeah I, he's pound he's for awesome. pound. He's one of, I mean... That, that guy is awesome. Mm-hmm. He, he, I, I, don't, I don't see anybody can beat him right now. He reminds me of. He reminds me of. What, what do you have for Mikey Garcia and Terrence Crawford? I got Terrence. I'm yeah, sorry. for yeah. sure. Yeah, I'm, and I love Mikey Garcia. <laughs> yeah. and, and I'm not just picking. Just, just to be. I'm not being honest. Just because Mikey's from Southern California and like. No, no I, I really. I think. If you tell me from I think two, Mikey I was, and Earl. I'm being real. I really think that this is a, what p- people are looking at. It. This is a very close 50-50 fight to me. I don't know craft wise. Like I said, I stand by that. I think Mikey has better craft than Earl does. But when we're talking about Terrence Crawford, Terrence Crawford to me is one of these guys that like you you kind of don't understand all the things he can do because he's that incredible. So crafty. Yeah. We haven't seen it all yet. So he he, like, he changes. Know. He can yeah. change. He's a chameleon. Like in there, I'm like, damn, this dude. You know, we, I brought this up in a podcast, but supposedly Mikey had told Cameron Duncan. Cameron Duncan had asked Mikey Garcia, "Is there anybody um, that he should be looking at that he hadn't heard of?" And Mikey said, "Yeah, you should look up a guy named uh, Terrence Crawford." And and Cameron Duncan went out and got Terrence Crawford. So even to to know that Mikey is that you know keeping it real on, yeah. on or not only keeping it real but that just sort of respectful of another fighter that he knows that could fight that got possibly put him in a position like that to, for us to know who Terrence Crawford yeah. is today. Yeah. Sean, is there any is there any uh, fighters Shit, that was or rough. or um, guys that you see whether in, in the local area or people we we haven't heard of yet that the two twins were Drawdy twins, yeah. Giovanni and. Uh, the, the, one of them is fighting in the, at the Microsoft. Which theater. one of the two? G- Giovanni and Giovanni. Uh, um, he's fighting and and uh, Gio- Giovanni, Giovanni, and Giovanni. Um, it's kind of they're almost the same as the name. But one of them is fighting at the Microsoft um, Theater this Saturday. So good tickets. They're like 25, 30, 35 bucks. So. We're gonna release this episode after uh, on next Tuesday, so people okay. have missed. But. Um, Look out for those fighters. Look out for those fighters because they have good bright careers yeah, yeah, um, yeah. ahead of them, and, and so you're, Sean's you're, working closely with them. Yeah, so, 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 so you're, if you're listen, listening now, they're, they're probably got the victory right now. You know, yeah, yeah. So he got the W. But and you get and look out for Tiburon Carlos. Uh, he's Jesus. another fighter that's at Lee Pro Boxing Gym. Uh, strong, fast. Has, has we're working. Has all the tools to become a world champion. Then you have a, you have a couple of Russians that, that are coming. Coming soon, um, Q, Com Q. Uh, he's he's a silver, the silver belt, WBC silver belt. Silver belt. Uh, they, they were trying to match him up with Sean Porter, but he, he's definitely going to make a big, big, big noise this year. So Sorry, stay see. tuned for that. We'll, yeah. we'll have him here. Sean, is there anything else you'd like to ask of the of the mm-hmm. audience, or where can we follow you? Um, uh, follow me on at Golden Estrada. Um, uh, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, follow me on there. You see all my classes, all my boot camps, and and uh, if he you're around some the sick no- memes too. Yeah. He's pretty. He's pretty good at keeping the memes real. Yeah, and, and uh, if you're if you're around Norwalk, Santa Fe Springs, I have people around even even the uh, 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 Cerritos area, Downey, uh, Huntington Park, all that area, southeast area, Lakewood, Come, yeah, Lakewood yeah. and stuff like that. Long, this side of Long Beach. You Come can get a chance out. to train with and you'll an feel Olympian. sexy and you'll feel you'll feel incredible. You feel like how, you're, how, how you're gonna go, move mountains and shit. How, how will they go about contacting you through, through uh, Instagram? Just go, slide those DMs. Yeah, go slide, Strata. slide through my DMs or hit me up. Here's my number. I'll give you my number out. Shout it out. Five six two seven. All right, no dick pics. <laughs> 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 I'll slide those. No, 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 bro. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, that was a bad idea. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 right. well, what, what? <laughs> Way to go, Sean. No, All right, brother. Uh, it's, it's I'm really great, happy. I'm yeah, really happy. Give me real, bro. Give me real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get that shit out of here. I want that shit. Man. <laughs> no, right. Right. No, no, a lot of people are gonna send me that shit just to be, just to be a twat. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sean, I'm really happy you came on the podcast, man. Well, You've been you, one buddy. of my uh, you, one of the guys I looked up to, and I'm really glad you're here. And uh, thanks so much for being here. We'll, yeah, we'll have you back some other time. Yeah. We'll have more to talk about. And yeah, let's uh, do it. We're excited to see what, what the future has. Hands up, yeah. Man. All right, guys. Let's do it. All right. I'll go. Oh, man. You can uh, go ahead and follow us on Instagram. We are a Boxed In Podcast. Uh, myself, I am Garrity McCosker, at Garrity McCosker on Instagram, at Volgarity, V-O-L-G-A-R-R-I-T-Y on Instagram. And you want to give me any plugs? Uh, no, I don't have it. Follow oh, yeah. Jack, no, follow World Famous Jackrabbit Boxing. Uh, Jackrabbit Boxing. Um, all the young killers are just training yeah. around there. And thanks for tuning in. We'll be. Uh, we'll see you guys next week.